I lost a tooth on a first date. I got kidnapped by an old lady at Walmart. I've gotten fired from three different jobs. I died when I was eight. Oh! Maybe I'm setting you up for something. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play two lies and one truth. We're gonna say three statements. Two of them are lies. One of them is a the truth. Our goal is to figure out each other's truth. Hmm, here we go. All right, ready, Alex? I'm ready. Scenario one. Hmm. I once stole perfume at Abercrombie and I got banned from the mall. Oh, you got caught. Scenario number two. I was in two fist fights in elementary school. Once with a bully and then again with the bully's brother. What you want, oh. oh my god. Oh. Come here. Scenario three, Alex. Okay. I broke someone's heart by writing them a letter on a Hello Kitty sticky note. Ooh, podcasty. Okay, okay. Mm. 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 I know. You do. I think you thought I didn't remember, but I remember. Perfume. Oh wait, was that you? That could have been our friend. You think it's the perfume? I think I remember a story. It would be smart of you to put one of our friend's stories in because I don't remember if it's yep. you or them, but I think it's the perfume one. Lock it in. Final answer. Uh, yeah, you stole a bottle of perfume from Abercrombie. And I got banned from the mall. Yes. You are wrong! <laughs> It is not. It is one of our friend's stories. You Dang are absolutely it! correct. I was like, oh. Alex's memory is diluted. He gets memories mixed up with another person's memory. So if I mix other people's stories into my lies, he might pick the lies. Wait, let me guess again then. So I'm gonna go with Hello Kitty. Is it Hello Kitty? Alex, that is correct. Yes! Yes! You a little sad. Yes, yes, yes. She probably liked Hello Kitty. You're like, let me make her think it's gonna be something good. It was through a mailbox. She wouldn't respond to me, my calls or my texts or messages. I did whatever uh, an ordinary man would do. I would go to the mailbox and write a Hello Kitty sticky note and put it in the mailbox. Do you remember what it said? I do not, I don't remember. It's like, thank you for your time. <laughs> or something. <laughs> All right, your turn. Oh, you going down, boy. Scenario number one. In second grade, my teacher grabbed me, shook me, and yelled at me. That's I horrible. was like seven. Again, again! I never <laughs> Scenario number two. When I was 11, I won the class talent show by doing the standing worm. Ah, uh, you gonna do it? Come on, come on, come on. Scenario number three. I kept a journal in middle school. That's it, I just write down my day. It wasn't like a diary, sure. it was definitely not a diary. All right, is it the shaking one? Yes, it could be. Is it the uh, calendar show, standing worm? Or the journal. Let's see. It's journal, I don't think it's the journal, because you would start it and then you would forget about it. I feel like you have ADHD, you're like, oh, I'll start this. Yep. And then you go play basketball or something. Yep. Second, the talent show, no, no. All right. And then the first one, the teacher shook you? In the seventh, yeah. you were seven? I think it's that one. You think my teacher grabbed me and shook me and yelled at me? Yes! You, my friend, are correct! What? Yes! <laughs> yes! She did. She was like, don't you ever do that again! No way! Yeah, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. She was mad. What did you do to her? I went home with a freaking progress board or, or like a permission slip or something. And I went to my dad and my dad was sleeping. And I was like, dad, I need you to sign this for school tomorrow. Uh, and he said, okay. And he went like this. I guess he scribbled. She thought I forged it. And so then my dad called her. He's like, don't ever shake my son again. That was not him. It was me. I was asleep when he asked me. And I, so she just That's did not like it. Abuse. All right, you ready? Yes. All right, statement A. I met Mr. Beast, Jimmy, before he was famous at my college, NC State. Hey, aren't you Roy Wasabi? What's up, man? Yo, I'm gonna be a big deal one day. Ah. Remember this face. Oh yeah, for sure. Thank you, good luck, dude. Before he was even doing YouTube? Yep. Scenario B, I had a successful business drawing pictures of the popular girls in my high school. I sold the drawings for a dollar each. Somewhere. What? Statement three. I was born with three testicles. And then you don't have three testicles anymore? Uh, two of them fused together. After birth? Over time, I don't know. That's what my mom said. Okay, let me think about this. You got balls. You got picture draw and sell yeah. And then the first one was? Mr. Beast. This is a hard one. <laughs> I don't recollect any of these. And you were all right, I do mix up my memories. I even dream sometimes and I wake up and I'm mad at somebody and we never had that conversation. <laughs> Let me get my thinking stick out. Mm. 
I'm gonna go with the pictures. Scenario number B. B. Yes. Alex, you are correct. Yes! Yes! That's like when I'm like waiting to get announced if I won the boxing match or not. I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess it was a business. How much money do you make? At least 20 bucks. Let's I sold go. 20 pictures. Yeah, dude. Let's go. Like, I remember this. It's specifically at psychology class. One of the guys taps me in the bag. He's like, yo, you know how to draw, right? I'm like, yeah, why? Hey, can you draw me a picture of Britney? I'll go buy it for me for a dollar. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I was like, okay, just give him like a nice sketch. My turn! The score is officially one, two, one. Here we go. Scenario number A. A fan one time pulled my hair, a piece of my hair out and ran away. Never saw them again. Oh, okay. Scenario two. I got chased by a bully with a broken bottle in my youth. Oh, people always trying to attack like, you. Why, why are people always trying to attack you, man? <laughs> I'm a tackable guy, I don't know. Statement number C. I've wet my bed only once in my entire lifetime. Boo, these are boring. No, they're not. <laughs> these are boring. What? How is it boring? I got chased by a bully with a broken bottle. I got my hair pulled out and never saw that person again. I drew pictures. Close. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fan with the hair, yep. a broken bottle, a yep. bully. I only wet my bed once in my entire life. Okay, all right, let's see. A fan. So I'm looking for the truth. Yeah, you are. And the truth, I'm going to go with the bully with the broken bottle. Do you think that's more likely than the bedwetting one time in my life? No. Can I change? Up to you. Final choice. All right. It's the fan with the hair. What do you think they did with it? Probably ate it. I would eat it. You, my friend of 20 years are a person that should have trusted his instincts. It was the bully. It was the bully. <laughs> why, you, why, why, why would you make statements regarding me considering to change my answer? <laughs> you asked me if you oh, could change it. Perhaps I should have just listened to myself. What's the story with that? You know, the red wagons, me and my brother were on a huge hill next to my house, my older brother. And we turned the steering wheel in and then you can steer it like this. And then I would push him down the hill and he would go down the hill, go up the other hill, and then that would slow you down and you come back to the bottom uh, like this. Yeah. And then we did it a bunch of times. Then it's my turn. Then I did it. Going fast, super dangerous, not safe. This random kid we never met before came up and he's like, wow, can I try? And I was like, yes, but when you do it, the key is do not try to turn on this side street at the bottom. Cause the kid did not listen. He panicked. He tried to turn onto the side street at top speed. He flipped out, rolled up to the curb, Reached into the sewer, broke a ball, and started chasing me around. What? Yeah. People always trying to attack you. <laughs> All these truths have been attacking you. Oh, maybe I'm setting you up for something. What? <laughs> one to one. One to one. Son. Scenario A. Mm. I catfished you in high school into believing I was the girl of your dreams to laugh at you behind your back. Was that you at Palace Point? I don't know, man. So there it will be. I dared one of my bullies in the Philippines to eat a berry. It turned out to give him an allergic reaction and his face and throat got swollen. Scenario three. When I was a kid, I got kidnapped by an old lady at Walmart. She thought I was her grandson. Wow, these are all believable. I'm hoping it's not the catfish one. There's this one time we had so much in common. It was like she knew me. <laughs> That's crazy if you kept that secret for 20 years. No way. So there's the catfish, and then the berry allergically, uh, and then the- I got kidnapped by an old lady. Kidnapped woman. by an old lady. I don't want to think it's the catfish, so I'm going to go with the old lady accidentally kidnapped you because she thought you were hers. Final answer? Yes, final answer. You? My friend for over 20 years are wrong. Was it the catfish? Is that your final answer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you, my friend, yeah. are absolutely wrong. Yes! <laughs> you're good, you're oh, good. Oh, I was about to have some <laughs> thoughts about you. <laughs> I was gonna dream an argument and be mad at you tomorrow. <laughs> uh, it was uh, one of my bullies. Anyway, I just gave one of my bullies like a berry mm. and it turned out he had a really, 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 really bad really allergic reaction to it. Oh no. He went to hospital. You didn't know that he was going to have no. an allergic? No. You were hoping? No. A little bit. No. So tell him the story about the catfishing. Do you remember it? Yeah. 
You want to save it for the podcast? Yeah. All right, we're going to tell that story on the podcast. Go to Spicy Fruit, subscribe. We'll tell that catfishing story. Oh, it's still one to one. It's still one to one. Scenario A. Mm. My first kiss was in kindergarten. Okay. At Maxwell Elementary School. Okay. In Kentucky, mm -hmm. Lexington. Sure. Scenario B. The longest I've gone without showering was a week and a half. Oh, 10 days. Alex, Alex. It's not my fault. I didn't have a shower. Scenario C. The Spanish for C. Oh, yeah. A girl wrote me a note in class. I believe this was fourth grade, maybe. And instead of reading it and answering the question, I spell checked to give it back. And she was like, what? You didn't answer the question. It said, will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> She spelled everything wrong. <laughs> everything oh, no. was spelled wrong. That happened too. All three of these are very true. I'm gonna go with the third one. Oh, why? I don't know. It just seemed believable. You, my friend of 20 years, are correct. I did do that. I did do that. She was like, you didn't answer it. And I was like, oh, I didn't know you wanted me to. She gave it back and I actually read it. And I was like, okay. I said yes. And she said, okay. Well, you gotta break up with your girlfriend. I said, okay, how do I do that? And we proceeded to learn the choreography to NSYNC's infamous Bye Bye Bye. And we performed it for my you girlfriend. You did, Yes. No, and some of her friends. Oh my God. I was a kid. We performed it. She started crying. And I remember thinking, we killed that. Why is she crying? <laughs> oh, no. I felt so bad and it gets worse. But I'll save that part for the podcast because oh. I'm very ashamed of it. So it wasn't my fault, but something really bad happened after. She was the only <laughs> one in our entire school with permission to wear a hat after. Oh my God, and you took podcast, out the hat? Podcast, 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 podcast. Okay, 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 okay. we're not going to talk about it. Hey, and if you're not a member already, click join, be a member. We have the juiciest behind the scenes, so you're missing out. And also, shout out to these members. Yeah, hey. oh, look, look at, at that name. name. Look, look at that so name. Good. Look, 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 look at so look, great. Look, look, look uh. Lie to me, brother. I got you, me. Scenario A. Whenever I would hear you have boom boom above my room, I would get my laptop and watch some pussy. Why? I don't know. I was like, ah, I guess might as well. Could you hear it that well? I heard like a little bit. Like, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, oh, that, yeah. I was building Ikea furniture. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, 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 I once I, I got it in, I was like, I just yeah. knew. I just oh, heard. yeah. It would, it would oh, be like yeah. This. It'd be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ikea, bar. Ikea. Oh, Ikea. <laughs> Ikea is very loud yes, process, yes. I, man. I know building it. Okay, fine. Statement two, ready? Yeah, I think so. I died when I was eight. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Statement three. I leaked your address after we broke up. After we broke up? After when I moved up. or before I moved from Encino? No, like after... Hollywood? No, no, no. no. Encino. Encino one. Oh, okay. I didn't have fans show up until Hollywood, so that one's not true. Mm. And you died. Oh, and then you heard me. Ah, oh, the most plausible one is that you heard me. I don't know if that would be a reaction to hearing me. I'm gonna go with you died. Oh. Cause you got supernatural things that we should talk oh. on the podcast. Oh, oh yeah, I wanna hear. Should. That makes sense. Yeah. You hear or see? I can't remember. I sense. He sense. But you see? You, you saw. I saw. Oh yeah, okay, I go with that one. All right, you are correct, sir. Yes, you died. You died. I died. Oh, uh, you died so good. That's what happened. My cousin, my aunt's cousin. What yeah. is that? My cousin, super Your cousin? Aunt, yeah, super cousin, yeah. I my think super correct. cousin, mm -hmm. he was an engineer, so he was building some electronic like devices at the house and he needed some like our electricity because theirs didn't work at the time. Mm -hmm. And it was like open. Circuits were there, everything was there. So I was like looking at it and I was like, oh. Yeah. And then apparently they said I was like passed out for like two minutes. They said I died. That's cool. Yeah. I wish I died. I, I mean, not like, all the way. I mean, that's I won't crazy. Come back. As long as I come back, that'd be cool. And then that makes sense because maybe that's the reason why I see things. Maybe yeah. a ghost freaking yeah. like possessed me at the time. Well, I'll podcast spice for talk chest. That's crazy. That's a cool ass. We like, gotta dive in deep to that's that one. That's a good, good, good theory. Yeah. That makes so much sense. I got it. That's two to you two. Did. It's two to two. No! Bring it, punk! <clears throat> if I get this one right, though, you ultimately end. Scenario A I lost a tooth on a first date. Scenario B <laughs> When we broke up, I would drive by your office 
to see if I could run into you. And they're like, oh, what? What's up, man? I miss you! Statement! Scenario C3. Yes. I've gotten fired from three different jobs. Hmm. You! Fired! I don't even work here! <laughs> okay, statement A. You lost a tooth on your first date. Yep. On the first date, yep. You used to run drive to my office in hopes to see me, and you got fired from three different jobs. I was gonna go, I'm gonna go with scenario. I made a face every time, so you No, you didn't. The third one, you didn't really, so C. You're going with C? Yeah, you didn't really exaggerate your face on the third one, so it's letter C. That's just ADHD, bro. You wanna know if you're right? Yeah. What was C again? You got fired from three different jobs. Uh, you, my friend, friend of 20, 20 years. years. R? Incorrect! Yeah. Don't tell me it's B. Were you stalking me? Is that your final answer? Yes. You are incorrect! Oh, okay, okay. I lost a tooth on a first date. Oh, cute. It was not cute. Oh. She thought it was hilarious, though. It, it brought a lot of happiness and laughter on her side. I was probably like 26 or 27. We were on a first date, and I met her in, Hawaii, in the Philippines. So I hung out with her, and then I was like, hey, we should meet for a date in between Philippines and America. And she's like, okay. So she's like, let's do Hawaii. First day, go paddle boarding. I'm doing really well. I've never done it before, but I was killing it. I had a really good balance. And I was like, oh, I bet I could do a handstand. I did a handstand. When I popped back up, I still had the paddle in my hand. Hit me in the face, tooth flew out. <laughs> into the water. I covered my mouth. I was with a class, like of strangers. Oh. I was like, guys, I lost a tooth. And they didn't believe me. And I was like, mm. <laughs> And they're like, oh! And she just fell off her board laughing at me. That's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, thought it was I, just, it was I couldn't cool. believe it. Yeah, that Look was it. You. Everyone's trying to attack you. Battle board's trying to attack you. Everybody, ultimately, you know what this concludes to? What? A tie. There you go. Guess we gotta do it again. All you right. got more stories I don't know about? A lot. Spicy Food Podcast. Okay. Bye.